This is the second video in which we're going to be looking at how to use ratios to understand final accounts. Today, we're going to be looking at net profit margin. Pretty much this is, if I have a pound from a company, how much of it goes on costs and how much of it goes as net profit? So if I spend a pound at Boots, 90% of the money goes on costs, 10% of the money goes on profit. That's what we're going to be working on today. All the information that we're going to be using today is coming from the income statement. So, first of all, we're going to look for revenue. It could be sales, it could be sales income on your profit and loss account. Have a look so you can find it. The second thing we're going to have a look at is net profit. Now, be careful of this because you're frequently seen it as operating profit. They mean the same thing. You can use the figures. So, for our example, we're going to have a look a business which has a revenue of a thousand pounds. They've earned a thousand pounds. After they've paid all their costs, what they are left with is a net profit of 200 pounds. We're now going to calculate is net profit margin. How much of the money earned does it keep as net profit? So to do this, what we do is we take the net profit figure, we divide it by the revenue, we times it by 100 and it gives us our net profit margin. So the net profit is 200. We divide it by the thousand, we times it by 100 to turn it into percentage. And that tells us their net profit margin is 20%. What this means is of each pound they earn, 80p goes on all of the costs, the cost, the overheads, um, the cost of goods sold, and 20p is kept as net profit. So this is how we calculate a net profit margin. So we're now going to see how we can use the net profit margin to make comparisons over time. So we have a little table. We've got three years worth of information. We've got revenue it's going up 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, doubling each year. You would think that was fabulous. We've got net profit here, 200, 300, 400. It doubles over two years. That's looking really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the net profit margin. We're going to take the net profit figure, divide it by the revenue, times it by 100. That's our net profit margin. Now, what I would like you to do while you are calculating this is pause the video, calculate the answers, and then we'll see what they come up when you're ready. OK, so. For 20x1, you take your 200, you divide it by 1,000, you times it by 100, and the answer is 20%, 20p in the pound. Let's have a look at 20x2. We've got 300, we divide it by 2,000, times it by 100, we've got 15%. So even though our revenue's doubled and our net profit's gone up 50%, um, we have a falling net profit margin this is not good for a business. This would ring alarm bells. If we look at our final year, we've got a net profit of 400 and a revenue of 4,000. So the net profit margin, oh, it's fallen again. It's fallen to only 10%. So even though the figures look good, the revenue's doubled, uh, quadrupled, the net profit has doubled. Actually, what this has meant is the net profit margin has decreased by 50%. You would be very concerned if this was your business. Now, it can be really good to use the net profit margin in collaboration with the gross profit margin. So if we look at this table, we've got our three years, we've got our revenue going 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. We've got our gross profit going 700, 1,400, 2,000. We've got our net profit of 200, 300 and 400. So got our figures, we've worked out our gross profit margin by taking our gross profit figure, dividing it by the revenue, times it by 170. So we've got 70, 17, it drops off until 50. And we've got 20, 15 and 10, it drops off again then. So we're going to use these two figures together to try and understand about the business. So in the first year, we kept 70p in the pound as our gross profit margin. Therefore, that means we had a difference of 50p in the pound for overheads and we kept 20p in the pound as our net profit margin. So the following year, 
our net profit margin has dropped down by 5%. So we're going to investigate why. We can see that our gross profit margin has stayed the same. Our net profit margin has fallen. This means it must be the overheads that we need to have a look at to find the reason for the drop in performance. So looking at them together, we can see that the overheads are now taking 55% of the business's costs. If we look in 2000X3, uh, we can see our gross profit margin has dropped down 20% to 50p in the pound. That means for some reason we have spent 20% more on our costs of goods sold. That would be cause for investigation. At the same time, our overheads, um, in, in a way, it's got better because the difference between these two is 40p in the pound, which actually our overhead management is better than it was in year one and year two. So when we are using net profit margin, it's often good to look at it for the same business. Um, with the gross profit margin, it gives us some real clues about what's happening in the business.